Hey there everyone, Zian over here from Nintendo Life, and today we're here to share with you our review of a game for the Nintendo Switch called The Stretchers. Now, this review was originally written by PJ O'Reilly for NintendoLife.com, but was reworked into this video by me. Now let's make one thing absolutely clear right off the bat. The Stretchers is absolutely hilarious. A comedic co-op puzzler full of over-the-top ragdoll physics-based gameplay that sees you and a friend take control of a pair of wibbly-wobbly paramedics and their crazy taxi-style ambulance. You'll race around Greenhorn Island saving dizzied residents, known as Dizzies, from the nefarious plans of Captain Brain, who's been knocking locals into a state of mental confusion in a bizarre attempt to exact revenge on you and your rescue team. It wastes absolutely no time getting you right into the action, is easy to control, and will have you in tears of laughter and frustrated hysterics as you try to coordinate your bendy-limbed relief efforts while avoiding all manner of deadly traps and pitfalls strewn across each of the 17 levels on offer. And man, what a handful of levels they are. Now, this isn't the longest game in the world by any means. We managed to blow through it in about four hours, but in that short time, you'll wobble your way around the spinning blades of a sawmill, fling yourself down seaside zip lines, bounce on countless trampolines, and try to avoid some miffed moles as you carry an unconscious sumo wrestler to safety across a community garden, and so, so much more. There's a fine amount of variety in the missions you undertake across the north and south of Greenhorn Island, and each one is replayable in both standard and time attack modes once you unlock the arcade at your base a little later in the game. The main rescue missions each come with three challenges to complete, stuff like opening all the shed doors or finding a piece of hidden treasure. And there's also a bunch of specific tasks to complete in order to fill in all the gaps in your little sticker book, which essentially acts as an achievement tracker. Alongside the main missions which drive the story along, there are a bunch of crazy side missions which mix things up further, taking the focus off rescuing Dizzy's in favor of flinging you headlong into such calamitous madness as using a two-man saw to cut down trees in the middle of an active dirt rally track. There's also a bunch of hats and catalogs to unlock to customize your medics back at the base between the story missions. And although the game is quite short, the developer Tarsier has done a solid job of giving you a reason to revisit each of the missions on offer beyond the constant hilarity of it all. The Stretchers does a really great job of treading a fine line between being hilariously frustrating while not driving you so far over the edge that you feel like giving up. The controls are easy to get to grips with, but there's just enough ham-fistedness in how your little wobbly paramedics go about things that a simple task never works out quite how you want it to. You'll need to audibly direct one another in order to time tricky runs past blades and pesky conveyor belts, and when it all gets a little heated, which it absolutely will, you can take the edge off by clapping and singing together to try to regain your composure. Once you've done all of the serious work of loading all available dizzies into your ambulance, you can then let off some more steam by taking off at high speeds, crashing through walls, jumping stunt ramps, and helping yourself to a handful of ambulance upgrades that enable you to boost and spin your way to the doors of the local hospital where Captain Brain's victims are returned to normal via the marvelous D-Dizzler 3000. All of these jumps and stunts then feed into your end of level score, so it pays to be as stupid as possible behind the wheel of your ambulance, which is made easier by the fact that one person drives while the other has control of the turbo booster for maximum carnage. If we had one gripe with the gameplay, it's that the actual stretcher your paramedics use to pick up dizzied victims isn't really essential to doing the job. And in fact, you can totally forget about using it for the most part. And that's a bit of a shame because loading dizzies on it and trying to balance them as you get to your transport makes things all the more tricky and hilarious. It would have been nice to see the stretcher aspect enforced in some way so that you don't leave it by the wayside in most missions. Graphically, The Stretchers is highly reminiscent of Two Point Hospital. It's a chunky and colorful game that looks just as good in portable as it does docked. We had zero technical problems on our playthrough, although the frame rate can dip ever so slightly when you get really wild in the ambulance from time to time. 
The music is as daft as expected, speeding up comically as things get more out of control on screen, and the cast of characters you meet along the way, including our personal favorite, Professor Doctor, all fit in perfectly to the madcap tone of proceedings. As you'd expect, this is a game that you'll get the most fun out of in co-op, but we did find that Solo worked perfectly as well. The whole thing is still fun if you need to power through it alone, just be prepared to feel like your brain is separating down the middle on occasion as you try to get your head around a few of the puzzles without a partner. A more worrying issue is perhaps that owners of the Switch Lite may find themselves needing to grab a second pair of Joy-Cons to join in the co-op fun. And it's a shame in this instance there's no workaround for those non-detachable grips on the Switch's newest model. The Stretchers is an unexpected delight, dropping onto the eShop without warning and perfectly timed to brighten up the long, dark winter days ahead. Tarsier has taken all its experience working on the likes of Ragdoll Kung Fu, Fists of Plastic, and Little Big Planet, and brought it together to deliver this ridiculously over-the-top ragdoll puzzler that works well in solo, but is on another level when enjoyed with a friend in co-op. Missions are varied and lend themselves perfectly to moments of hilarious slapstick, and there's a couple of real standout moments scattered across the course of proceedings that will have you laughing all the way to the very end. We here at Nintendo Life give the Stretchers on Nintendo Switch an 8 out of 10. If you'd like to read our full written review by PJ, or even just find out more about the game, you can head over to nintendolife.com. Oh, <laughs>